Yeah, so my cards, they fell on the floor earlier today. Let me see what I have. Show me some. They do on my head. Um, yeah, my cards, they fell on the floor earlier today. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about, you know, going to read or anything. Um, I just wanted to make sure everything was good because, you know, uploading has. Hmm. It has. <laughs> um... Yeah, but when they fell on the floor, uh, the moon card, the star card was covered, and we had the four cups that was out, and I'm looking at that, and I'm like, this is, somebody's not happy that something's being shown, something's being uncovered, something's happening, in the background of something, basically, and... Like, something is, like, coming to being exposed. It's exposure or something. I don't know. It was weird. Because that's exactly what it felt like, too. I was like, what the hell? I was like, yeah, oh, I know. Whatever, right? Anyway. Well. Um... It's been a lot of animals. Um, today I was like, I was walking in the yard and there was like two ducks that I went by and didn't even notice, right? And I'm leaving. I'm like, oh, so cute. And a poodle freaking gave me a freaking hug. It was the cutest, cutest freaking dog ever. I love poodles. Like, I was always like, they are adorable dogs and everything. But to actually see, like, one of the true definitions, not a toy poodle, not one of the little, you know, one of the, like, main, like, uh, secret life of pets, rock and roll poodle, that was like, yeah, 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 it's that type, type of poodle. Um, I forgot. I think it's just a regular poodle. I know there's, like, a few varieties out there, breeds out there of that. But, um, which one? It was so, so big. <laughs> It gave me a hug, and I'm like, it literally gave me a hug, like, it hugged me, it jumped up, and it hugged me, and I'm like, wait, like, your face is actually resting on my shoulder, and you're like, hugging me, I'm like, oh, I fell in love with the dog, oh my god, it was so adorable. I loved it. Anyway. That was just a good, good feeling, good feeling. I was like, that was like the second surprise today that I just enjoyed. I was like, oh my goodness, nature is just so beautiful. I just love it. Oh my God. But, he was sweet. Her and her mom was sitting outside. Oh my God. Oh, they are just so adorable together. Ooh, that hit like really aggressively down on the ground. We have a high priestess in the reverse. Somebody's watching something. Somebody, there's a high priestess that's, that is at a distance is watching something from a distance something's pissing her off like she's really angry right now it could be a man it could be you know whatever um i'm just saying you know it's you know i'm a thing so whatever anyway like this should just smack the hell down like okay and paired up with pissed off and watching something not liking what's 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 being seen somebody's seeing something and not liking it something is pissing off a uh, higher priestess in reverse this could be um this could be a fake reader or this could just be a real high priestess that is in like her lower nature that is like one like really bitch mode or something like that so 
um, like attacking people and doing all that type of mad shit. Um, before I turned it on and started recording, I was looking up the meaning of teeth because I remember when I had the dreams of my teeth falling out and everything else and it would hurt like hell. I would wake up crying, right? Because it was so intense. So, I'm like, what the hell? It stopped, right? So, I'm wide awake. I'm drinking my tea and you know, um, the bottom just started hurting out of nowhere. So I'm like, the meaning of teeth, the meaning of teeth, falling teeth is like death, illness, sickness, something basically is like, um, you know, that's a deep internal type of a pain, okay? This is something that like... Is mainly associated with death you know because it's that harsh you know but this is like aggressiveness okay like hurting hurting and they stopped when I started you know um, looking at the definitions and when I'm looking at this and I'm seeing this and I'm like wait 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 now I know what I heard about you growing up researching this shit and just going through any and everything okay that I can go through and you know it's a lot that is basically like showing out to be yeah it does correlate with that you know harshness and everything and when you think about it it kind of lines up too because you know that's how like that's uh, stop sidetrack so Think about it. You bite your tongue. It fucking hurts like hell. Just like when you stub your toe. It fucking hurts like hell. Like That can ruin your day. And have it spiral down. Like from right in and there. When that shit just happens. Because it's just like so fucked up. So, okay. So you bite your tongue. That shit is like. It's like. Oh fuck. You know. Uh, <laughs> Iggy bit himself. You know. Trying to be a smart behind. Right. And call himself like charging at the cage when he seen the boys and I were like just sitting there talking, talking, talking to each other. And I don't think we were giving him enough attention. So it was just like, what the hell? So when he went to go try to pet him, he was just like, her. And then he was like, he snapped, but he bit himself. <laughs> and then he just stopped and looked like, and we just looked at him like, oh, you try to get him. I'm like, that what you get. That what you get. You know it hurt, didn't you? You're not going to do that no more. You never had a problem with doing that anymore. <laughs> he was like, shit, that does hurt. <laughs> he bit himself and it was hard. So if he got him, I'm like, that, mm-hmm. Come and got your ass. Because <laughs> uh, he, he was going to do that shit purposely. Now, before when he got him, it wasn't on purpose and he did feel bad animals have feelings okay my son thought that you know he was out to get him and you know he was making it known he was fussing okay and it's understandable i mean his hand was messed up okay and he put his head in the food bowl and he would not look up he was looking at me side eye like i didn't mean He was so gentle with him and everything, trying to ease back in there good. Everything else, like, I'm not trying to hurt you, buddy. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, but enough about that. So, you know, all this to say, you know, you have something that, uh, really does you know hurt you know when something is done to either to yourself or to somebody else it's gonna always come back to you some way shape or form and it's gonna fucking hurt somebody's pissed off about something somebody's pissed the fuck off 
and maybe it correlates to the secrets or something that was being seen. I don't know. Okay. Um, like I said, that was just like thrown on the floor earlier today, and I'm like, mm, no, I just internalized that for now. And it's like a four cup situation. Somebody's like, not satisfied with something and not like get what they're seeing. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> yeah. So. fix it like these are my workout pants and like yeah <laughs> you know how you just like you know what these are my favorites these are trash now these are my last day wearing these it's cool it's like if i wanted to wear shorts i would wear freaking shorts man i'm sick of shit wearing them. but that's why i brought new clothes so <laughs> It's all good. I just need to wash my damn clothes. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. Somebody is fucking pissed. But I felt that shit when they hit the bed. It just fell out like smack. It just smacked the damn bed. Like, mm. Anyway. So. Let's stop talking about side shit. And how everything hurts basically. And just fucking pull some cards. Because I do got some messages. That I was getting some downloads. And it really made sense. Uh, how everything came out but i just want to pull these cards and get this out the way there's conflict there's a knight of pentacles they're a hermit in reverse they're a hermit in reverse and when he stayed like this, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is coming in. There's conflict that's behind them. They might be with this High Priestess. And the conflict is either catching up with them. And they don't want something to be seen. But this Knight of Pentacles... They're showing themselves in the upright, like they're coming in, um, you know, with good intention. But when I let everything fall, it was like they're coming in with good intention, but they showed that they were a hermit in reverse. That's a hermit that is in their privacy in like a plotting type of a uh, feel, you know, they're up to no good. You get what I'm saying? So, when I let this shit fall, he lands over here. He's a knight of pentacles in the reverse. And in the card today, it was said, um, this is one of the messages that came in. They, they will, they will, they will stand, they will stand where they fall. People are standing where they are falling. Leave them to stand. Leave them to stand. It's something about leaving them to stand. Leave them to stand to fall. See, this is why I need to hurry up and either write this shit down, but I can never find a pen. Or just the, like the fucking message when it comes in. Um But people are are stopping like where they're at right now in life okay and they are like falling like one by one people are falling shit is happening in the background and somebody's being watched and something's in the fucking mail i said this fucking last year what is up with the goddamn mail something's in the mail
can we please get on with this damn shit? Okay? Um, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. They're showing you to be like um a quiet person, a person that's to themselves. Okay? A person that, um, you know, you would think that if this per it would make sense that this person would come off as, you know, the hermit type, you know, the way this person is, how they come off. It's good natured, but they're a plotter. Their true intentions are seen. When you can see through them, you can see their true intentions. When you can't see them, this is what they show, but that's far in the distance. What they are up close is in the reverse. They plot. Hi! How was work? How you doing? How you doing? You want to watch this enchantment? Do you want to watch this enchantment? Maybe like one episode, that'd be fine. Yeah, that's what I was saying to Jason. Alright, so we're going to make this fast because I'm about to watch an episode with my boys. Anyway. They're coming off, basically. Like, they're good, but they're plotting on something. And I don't know what they're plotting on. But this person is basically like this. This is how he fell. He fell in the reverse. So there's something going on. Something that he's coming in for. That he's plotting on. It could be a she too. I don't know. Anyway. Somebody's plotting on something. Somebody wants something. Somebody's trying to something. Watch this person. If you have an inkling of who the hell is in your life that this represents. Trust your instincts. Um... We're gonna leave you to hop down there. Um, there's conflict behind them, and I think they're connected with the side braces because they are all on some other crap. But this is the heavy hitter because this thing like really smacked the bed really, really bad. Anyway, we're not gonna make this too long. It's already 17 minutes, and I can. Holy hell, you want one more, one more? Let's get one. We have a five of swords in the reverse. Whoever is behind this. Somebody was hurt. Somebody was hurt really badly. Somebody is always in their emotions. They they get people in their emotions. This is their, their tactic. This intention. They try to get people in their emotions. And then they, uh, they dig in on them. Like her people, her people. Five in the reverse. Five of swords in the reverse. They're wedged. It they was wedged between the the nice and the bad. They're wedged. They've been like they've been stuck like this. Like stuck to the point that it's like their personality. They just come off like this, but people know not to pay attention to it or something. But there's something that's different. Like this person's like angry. Oh shit. Okay. Angry with a king of pentacles in the reverse and a queen of wands in the upright. These were out like that. That's why I I had to look at them. So I go ahead, take a peek at them. That's what they are. So this could have been over like a third party situation. Or this could just be like some, you know, chaotic family drama. You know? Somebody uses what they got to get what they want. 
trying to meet people. They think they can buy everything. They're always in their lower nature. Blah, 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 blah. Um, this person right here, you know, they know how they are. And they could actually be together or they could just, you know, be friends and acquaintances. Who knows? But there's something that's going on with this Nine of Pentacles that's in the reverse that's connected to this High Priestess. Maybe they are a couple. And they're angry with each other. That could be a situation out there for somebody. That's what I'm getting. For others, this could be just as a third party situation or a family dealing. People go against each other all the time for stupid reasons. You're not supposed to do that shit. Every single thing you do comes back onto you. Every single thing you do. Whether it looks like it or not, it always comes back onto you. It can come in the form of something bad happening to the people, you know, around you. That's why I say, you know, bloodlines fall all the time because of stupid shit. They really do. Um, it's heartbreaking. People should be much kinder. I'm just so happy that everyone who I've come across have been such beautiful. I love this world. They got beautiful, beautiful inside and out. Um, <laughs> it's a rarity that you come across people that really don't mean you the best you know but it happens it happens oh all you can do is you can learn from every experience you go through and then you know go through life and take off you know basically everything always repeats itself so if you find yourself in similar situations Test out the waters. You see where people stand. You know where you stand because you always stay in your ground. So as long as you stay in your ground and you know how you, you know what you are and where you stand and you know what you're what you're for, you're golden. Nothing to it. Now when you don't know who you are, you're always gonna try to people please and you know people start you know trying to you know get upset, get demanding and stuff like this at the cards. Like shit. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you go into? Oh, I forgot you booger. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. I will talk later. I gotta go. Alright. Um, have a good night. Love you guys. I will actually do a reading later on before I go to sleep. I gotta have to get another one out. But I need to balance everything out, like I say, so... I will catch you guys later. Bye. Love you guys. Have a good night.